showering because <laughs> even though there's nothing going on, I'm still taking a shower. Don't worry. But like, I I do my morning routine, and then Animal Crossing is part of it. Three, cool. Two, one, I see the thing about Belmonts is I felt like they were a character that like it's really difficult to place them in the meta. But for all intents and purposes, I would still put them at high tier. They just have a lot of tools, but. You know, because they have a lot of tools to be perfect at edge guarding, and not only that, one of the greatest zoning game zoning opportunities in the game. They really, really suffer to a lot of other characters. That's yeah. Like Lucas can definitely burst in, give Salmon some trouble because, like, the ability he has to like only keep you out of range he's more of like a really really well paced zoner i actually tell people if you played street fighter and you use dalsim like this is what it means to be dalsim in smash like you have the range but the minute something gets in on you you are taking a lot of damage but so far it's it's the story of how does this lucas get in and when he does get in how much damage can he put in oh no that was no di on that one so he lost it I have a small delay, so I'm fortunate enough where I'm actually keeping the stream and the um, the live here on Twitch. I'm sorry, on the live stream on Twitch and the live stream here on Discord. So they're about roughly the same. I don't want to know if like it's the exact <laughs> how much milliseconds, but. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Tornado's doing pretty good. Like I said, he's making sure like He's got, he's got the, um, Abyssal pretty much on lock. Well, still with the three stock. He is actually able to recover, but unfortunately, because he already grabbed the ledge, he lost it. Only one on calm tonight. Yes, so far. Uh, Stride said he was going to come on, and then he just dished me. He was like, nah, man, I have better things to do. And I was like, what? On a Monday night? All right, Stride. It's okay, man. When we come back, I'll tell you I have better things to do. Really good, uh, really good opportunity for him to get in. Finally breaking a little bit of the zone, but Tornado still able to land here. Really good opportunity for him to actually go for the downer as soon as possible, and then immediately know the range, and we can not really go for an up, an upper or an up B. I didn't really see the option there. Yeah, it does. It doesn't kill. So depending on the characters, I actually tell people at certain times if you get hit up by the Ags, don't be as scared. It won't kill certain characters until around 140 to 160%. So if you're like at 100, feel free to actually get hit because the angle that it sends you is a 45 degree angle upward and you can use you can use that to come back. But unfortunately there, this Lucas will lose it here at another up B. I, I did see I did see it for like a second. <laughs> I saw it for like a second. I was watching the stream and then I realized like, oh wait. Um the, the actual Discord connected faster. So coming up here on game two, I am seeing Lucas still on lock. Really good stuff though from Abyssal. I think he's just really overwhelming. Tor uh, oh, I guess I guess Tornado. Yeah, Tornado's doing a really good job of overwhelming Abyssal before he gets the actual chance. Uh, just kind of stopping him. And that's something you don't really see too often as aggressive Belmonts. But I feel like it's the, just the comfort factor. Like, he's just really comfortable probably at this matchup, or he's just really comfortable just finding this look and seeing how he's played. Like, he knows in the zoning war, if I kind of get into the zoning first before he does, then he's kind of had to play a little bit more on the back foot. And I mean, the minute he does get a little bit of a lead, it's really tough for Lucas. Oh, no. Oh, that was really good down tilt. Enough to actually stop Lucas, but that was good that he still went for PK Thunder, just because in that opportunity, like if he does smash and read a roll, uh, Simon will get hit by him. That's a really good call out. It's not going to be enough to do like a stock, but still, in terms of percent and opportunity, it's what he kind of needs at this point. Yeah, I mean. 
kind of saucy right now. Wait, is Tornado... Yeah, Tornado don't Yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I got lost too. I was like, wait a minute, hold on. Shout out to Tornado92. Is this regional? Or can I mean... Is, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't know is, is this region locked or can I mean? I think it's, it's NA, it's NA only. NA, okay. Two? I don't know, I mean, yeah, for, as far as I know, it's NA only. Until, until further notice. Well, Tornado, with the entire stock right now, I mean, I, I feel like uh, if you're a zone Belmont, it's like, it's gonna be generally hard. I mean, you you just have to out zone probably one of the best like in the game. So. Yeah, the minute and the, I feel like the minute that he like does that and he sees his lead, like he doesn't have much to worry about. If he would have got like a grab there, fourth throw, would have got the stock. Nonetheless, though, I think the way that Abyssal is just really really scared and playing a lot of respect towards the Belmonts, it's really difficult for him to just try to get in. Yeah, and the grab. Okay, the back area is gonna be. Belmonts are pretty heavy, but not that. Heavy. Yeah, I think that's the one thing they have in their weight class that works really well for them, is the weight. Yeah. Uh, a heavy zoner can be pretty difficult to deal with at times, but I feel like because of that, you kind of gimp them off the stage one time and they're literally at the mercy of your your ability to gimp them. Yeah, Tornado went for a death grab on my left buff, man. Very ballsy call there. Just, I mean, just because, like, any reversal message would be easy to die as a well player. Yeah. Down to it, it's like I'd probably say one of the more common options going out of this one. Definitely something you gotta look out for. It can be kinda hard to punish. Yeah. I think I think that's the one thing I've always like appreciated about Belmont having a down tilt. It kind of reminds me of Smash 4 Clouds a little bit. Where instead of one hit it's just two hit, but the first hit is initially slow. Right. Oh can't so swing that back. Can reflect the whip. And yeah, this is this is rough. Oh blocking. this is yeah. make it back. Yeah, he's gonna be able to survive. But the way the tornado just pretty much had him at the ledge. Like he like I said, he's literally at the mercy of how well tornado can actually edge card. He dropped it at the last second. But uh wow, actually getting hit here. Finally Abyssal with a little bit of a breathing space here. Even though it's even stocks, that's a situation there with the back arrow will not make that situation any better for him. Yeah. So, but Abyssal was like kinda of bringing it back, but tornado goes ahead and closes that out too. Oh he 